Hello, LFS students, and an extra welcome to first year students in the Faculty of Land and Food Systems here at UBC. We're excited you've joined us. My name is Patricia Hingston, and I am an instructor in food science where I teach food microbiology and the third and fourth year food science laboratory courses. Food science is housed within the Food, Nutrition, and Health program because food, nutrition, and health all go hand in hand. Food scientists are responsible for creating and manufacturing safe and nutritious foods. They work in partnership with nutritionists to understand how individual food components impact our health and which nutrients are most important for us to consume. Have you ever wondered why we can store opened peanut butter in our cupboards as well as something like vanilla extract, yet once they open products such as bacon bits or maple syrup, they need to be stored in the fridge. Well, food scientists know the answer to this, and that is that bacon bits and maple syrup are both thermally processed to kill all microorganisms um, of concern in these products, and then they're sealed so that no additional microorganisms can enter. However, once we break those seals, there's enough nutrients and water in these products for microorganisms to grow, and that's why we need to store them in the fridge. Now, peanut butter, on the other hand, has lots of nutrients. However, it's very low in water content and is mainly composed of fat, um, just like our cooking oils. And that's why both of these are okay to be stored in our cupboards once they're open. Now, the story for vanilla is a more interesting one, and the reason that it is shelf-stable is because it contains 35% alcohol and is also lacking essential nutrients such as carbohydrates and proteins that microorganisms need to grow. How about why fruits such as apples and avocados turn brown after they've been cut? Well, here what's happening is that fruits naturally contain an enzyme called polyphenol oxidase that reacts with oxygen to produce this brown pigment. Now, while these foods may not look all that appealing, I can guarantee they're perfectly safe to eat. Do you look at the nutrition facts tables on your food products? Well, it's the role of food scientists to perform laboratory experiments to quantify the levels of fat, protein, carbohydrates, minerals, and vitamins in our food products. This is what we do in my third year food science laboratory course. And if you're interested in seeing what these experiments entail, you can check out our YouTube channel where students have made videos for each of our sessions. In this laboratory course, we also investigate what types of microorganisms are in food and how much of them are there that may cause food spoilage or even food poisoning. Lastly, don't forget to get involved outside of the classroom while you're here. By joining clubs, you'll make new friends with which you already have something in common with. Two of my personal favorite clubs are the LFS Undergraduate Student Society and the UBC Food Science Club. Make sure to check them out on Facebook and Instagram and keep an eye out on your inbox for upcoming events. Thank you for joining me today. Here are some links to the LFS Undergraduate Student Society and the UBC Food Science Club.